When replacing a master cylinder, it's important to, you know, bleed all the air out of the master cylinder before you even bolt it up to your car. What you don't want to do is, is you know, just throw it on the car, fill it full of fluid, and start pumping away on your brakes and hoping to get all the air out of the system because air can become trapped inside the master cylinder itself and work against you in actually getting the system purged of all the air. So what we do is bench bleed the master cylinder. And it's just a process of, you know, forcing fluid into it and uh, making sure that we've got the air out. Uh, in the past, the way to do these, most guys would just fill the reservoirs. They'd go down to the Napa or the local auto parts store and they'd, have, they'd sell a kit that would bring a couple of tubes up into the master cylinder reservoirs. And then you would take a screwdriver and pump in and out on the piston and let the fluid pass through the, the system that way. You know, it works. It's not necessarily the best nowadays. Nowadays, a lot of uh, shops prefer doing what they call the syringe method. The syringe method is basically a way of forcing fluid through the port and back into the reservoir. And we'll start by actually putting fluid in both the reservoirs. We have a syringe. We got this one through master power brakes. And we'll put that in the reservoir and suck up some of this fluid. We'll then pull the plug. and force this fluid, and you can kind of see the bubbles as it's forcing the air out of the master cylinder. Now it's important to have eye protection on when you're doing this, and you will get fluid. You gotta have your plugs ready will be a little fluid that will come through. Now if you notice when I was actually pressing on the uh, syringe, I was holding it up at a little bit of an angle to keep this air bubble that's in there. You can force that out by simply raising the tip of the syringe, forcing that out. Still a little bit, but you can work watch for that. You want to slowly introduce the fluid until you're getting a good, solid, consistent, smooth stream with no air coming through. Then once you have a good stream, put the plug in. And move to the other side. Once again, you can see the air getting purged out of the system. Sort of a stream of bubbles. Again, push slowly. You know, it will come shooting out of there if you push too fast.
mount the put the plug back in you're ready to seal this up and we'll get her back on the car <laughs>